Hello, I'm Dr. Christian Dern, a senior lecturer and the director of recruitment for the College of Environmental Science and Engineering at Bangor University. Well, uh, these are certainly unusual times um, for all of us. Uh, and we know at the university that many people will have questions about what life will be like for a student at Bangor University. Um, well, the first thing I must say is that our top priority is the health and safety and well-being of all our staff and all our students. So we are abiding by and following all government guidelines and we're keeping as up to date as we possibly can be as things develop. We're making sure that our campus is as safe as it possibly can be. Things like ensuring that there are social distancing guidelines in place, new cleaning regimes, and let's not forget as well about Bangor itself. Um, Bangor is not a huge city. We have many seagulls, as you can probably hear overhead, um, because we are so close to the sea as well. We are not a big city. We are in a rural location, the heart of North Wales. We have some of the country's best countryside, beaches, wild spaces, just a stone's throw from this very building. And at the university, um, we've tried to take this, this whole pandemic um, as an opportunity, as many other businesses, organisations and individuals have as well. We've tried to take it as an opportunity to look again at how we do things and to embrace new ways of working and new technologies too. Because education of our students is not just an important part of what we do at Bang University, it is our absolute passion. And we already have lots of expertise in delivering online courses and online degrees at Bangor. So we've looked at ways that we can incorporate elements of that with more traditional ways of doing things. Um, so what we will be doing at Bangor University is we will be offering a blended learning approach. This will involve some face-to-face -face lectures and sessions where safe and appropriate to do so, but we will also be using online facilities, um, virtual tools and digital materials as well. So our students will get the whole breadth of the best teaching facilities they can possibly get. Field trips, for example, will still go ahead where safe and appropriate to do so. Um, and for those students which are unable to go on a field trip, um, we will have online or alternative um, options for them. And uh, over the summer, so even as I'm speaking now, our brilliant staff, our lecturers, our technicians and all the other range of staff that we have at the university are working flat out to make sure that our laboratories, our computing facilities and all the other additional teaching facilities that we have to make sure that they are all safe to use moving forward. So we will keep our people as up to date with how things are developing at Bangor University and how we're going to be doing things and we'll be keeping people as up to date as we possibly can. There is already a COVID FAQ page on the Bangor University website so please go along to there and they will probably be able to answer any questions people have there but don't forget that Bangor is a small friendly university so the best thing that anyone can do that has a question is to send us an email or pick up the phone and have a chat with us and we will be delighted to discuss things and explain what we're doing moving forward.